I really believe that my background has inspired my passion to empower women. Uh, one of the things that I know for sure is that God places certain situations in your life to, in or to enable you to use the opportunities to learn, to grow, but also to help others and to inspire others. I am Marilyn Strauss, I'm a South African and a transformative self-confidence coach, an author, an international speaker, I'm also a graduated medical doctor, I was Miss World in 2014 and I'm a wife and a mother of two sons. I still remember as a young girl on my way to Paris for modeling standing in front of the modeling agent and having my hip circumference measured. She said 95 centimeters. We'll have to get it down to at least 90 centimeters, little lady. And from that moment, in that instance, I felt myself measuring myself against society's version of perfect. And this measuring tape tightened and tightened throughout my life as a young girl having curly hair and being teased about it, as a, a student struggling with mathematics initially um, and constantly comparing myself against my friends as a medical doctor, trying to be the best doctor and to be the best student. Even as Miss South Africa or Miss World, people didn't know that I struggled with self-confidence and that I constantly compared myself. But this was almost to the extreme. And then I realized that there has to be more to being a woman than constantly trying to be perfect. And I embarked on a self-discovery journey when I started my master's degree in philosophy and professional coaching. And this is where things started changing from me. And this is where I realized that God used all of the things that happened to me um, and the way I dealt with it, the way I've learned to cope with it and found my own identity in Him and owned my self-confidence. And this is how He used everything in my life to help me live my purpose. I was crowned Miss South Africa and then a few months after that Miss World in 2014 and this platform granted me an amazing opportunity to make a difference not only as Miss South Africa or Miss World in that year traveling the world raising funds for charity but also after that I have this platform I have a social media following where I really have the opportunity to make a difference and during Miss South Africa and Miss World, I constantly compared myself. I never felt good enough. I tried to fit into a certain box. And I think so many women feel like that. When I started my master's degree and did some research, I realized that self-confidence is one of the main struggles that most women face in their personal lives, but also in their professional lives. And that has a ripple effect on all areas of our lives as women. You need someone to look at you the way God looks at you. You need someone to have unconditional positive regard, to not judge, to have unconditional love towards you. And I see that as my role as a coach, to give my clients that safe environment where they realize who they really are, who they were meant to be, and where they rediscover their self-confidence and their authenticity, not only in themselves, but also in how God created them to be. it is believed that appropriate vulnerability enables you to be authentic and when you are authentic you kind of know who you are you know that it's fine to be who you are and that might lead to self-worth so be um, appropriately authentic and appropriately vulnerable in your life at work and at home sharing your feelings being open about what you feel like that day the next thing is surround yourself with people who see you the way God sees you surround yourself with people who believe in you who support you who love you for you third is to do a comparison cleanse so try to take three days have a diary next to you and whenever you compare yourself, realize that, note that and write it down. Write down what made you compare yourself um, against someone else or something else. And after the three days, use the information that you've gathered to make a few changes, whether it be unfollowing someone on social media, changing a few habits um, that 
that might lead to you um, comparing yourself. Whatever you have to do, try to use the information to prevent the comparison from happening. Then I also try to meditate on God's word for me. So I personally love Psalm 139. Choose a chapter or a piece of the Bible that speaks to you, that makes you feel worthy and that makes you feel loved. And then meditate on that word um, every day if it's necessary. And then lastly, um, use Bible verses to create affirmations for yourself. So Psalm 139 verse 14 that says, I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Or Mark 5 verse 34 that says that you are made whole um, in your body, mind and soul through your faith. So I am, through my faith, I am made whole um, in my body, mind and soul. Through my faith, I'm made whole in my body, mind and soul. So use Bible verses to create self-affirmation. Here is a passage from Jesus Calling from November 8th that I really hope will assist you in finding your confidence in God. As you journey through rough terrain with me, gain confidence from your knowledge that together we can handle anything. This knowledge is comprised of three parts, your relationship with me, promises in the Bible, and past experiences of coping successfully during hard times. Although you and your circumstances might change dramatically, I remain the same throughout time and eternity. This is the basis of your confidence. In my presence, you live and move and have your being. How beautiful is that?